Okay. And so this is the last module I want to cover. It's a pretty short one, but I want to talk a little bit about some of our power user tools. I want to talk about document replacement, creating URL links, creating links across project projects rather, and finally our beta AI tools. So with that, let's go back to liquid text here. Okay. So the first thing I want to show you is document replacement. So we have our petition here, and you know one of the problems with uh, court documents is that in some cases they change over time, right? Uh, trial bundles, for example, start out with all the materials available at that time, but later on you get an updated trial bundle that has you know a thousand new pages added to it. Uh, you've already gone through, we've already gone through and highlighted, annotated, uh, did a bunch of work in this version of the document. What happens if you get a newer one that has pages added to it? In liquid text, it's actually easy to deal with. You just click the three dots next to the document. There we are. And you select replace document. And now you can actually select a new version of that document file with pages added or added to or removed from it. And liquid text will replace this version with the new one moving using computer vision and text analysis to move all of your notes and annotations to the correct page in the new version of the document. Now we'll note that this feature is, uh, works best when the, pre when the document has not been significantly edited, but just has either new pages added to it or pay other pages removed from it. But it's a great feature, especially when your materials are changing over time. All right. The second one is URL links. I understand that it's very important for you all to cite materials that you've discovered on the web uh, in, uh, in your cases. So how can you easily do that? How can you create a link to those materials? Well, just as you would expect, we'll just head over to Zoom here. Let's say we go to the Wall Street Journal. And if we just copy that link there, we can go right back to any text box in Liquid Text and just paste that link right in. And as you would expect, if you click the link, you can either open it in Liquid Text's built-in pop-up browser or open it just in standard Safari. Okay, now let's talk about another situation, uh, but also related to links. Uh, I understand that some folks like to uh, use one Liquid Text, use a Liquid Text project uh, as a, a general research resource where you wanna kind of use it as a repository for a lot of documents of a certain kind. So let me give you a little example about how this might work. Let's say, uh, let's say, for instance, that part of this case turns on the issue of free speech. And I wanna cite some research I did on free speech um, you know, several months earlier in a different liquid text project. So let's take a look at how I could do that. So we'll close this project here and we'll go over to my freedom of speech background research project. So you see this project, I've, I've imported a bunch of different documents, highlighted them, annotated them, tagged them, and these all just relate to different aspects of freedom of speech. Uh, and so I can use this as kind of a general repository uh, for all different projects in the future that need to touch on the issue of freedom of speech. And let's say this point right here is the one that I really wanna to refer to. I can simply select this point, click on copy link here. And now Liquid Text creates a link to that piece of text in the clipboard. Now what I can do, is go back to my other project here, go back to our waste burning project. And now I can simply paste that link in. And there we are. Now we have a link to the other project. And watch this, if I click it, we go back to the freedom of speech background project. And look at that, it takes me right to the right document and even highlights, I, don't, I hope it came through on the Zoom, but even highlights the point in the document that that link refers to. So the idea here is it's very easy to create links back and forth between your different projects. Okay. So the last point I'm gonna to touch on is our AI toolkit. For that, we'll go to the completed version of the project. Here we are. Okay. So Liquid Text has, a, in, has an integration between, uh, with, or rather we have an integration with a uh, OpenAI's chat GPT. And we use this for a couple of nice little features. Let me demonstrate it for you. Let's go create a text box here. 
And let's say you recall at the beginning of this, uh, uh, of our little demo, we wanted to find out why waste burning was dangerous, uh, according to this petition. Well, let's suppose we use the AI to make this a little easier for us. To use the AI tools, I start by just pressing the slash key with, uh, in the text box. And you see, now it gives me a couple of options. I can type slash AI to ask questions about my document, or I can type slash slash to autolink. I'll talk a little bit about both of these. First, let's talk about asking question about my documents. So I'll type slash AI and I'll write, why is waste burning dangerous? And now you see it brings up a little pop-up that lets me select which documents it should use to try to answer the question. The great thing about our AI integration is that it uses just the documents that you tell it to, uh, to form its answer. So let's just stick with the current document. I'll press return. And there we are, it put together a nice answer. Uh, the beautiful thing about this answer though, again, is you see it has these inline links. I can click these links and it takes me exactly to the point in the document that it used to form that answer. So it means that I can have a great AI workflow of very easily being able to, uh, to human verify whatever answers the AI uh, provides me. Now, the other point I wanna mention with this is we have that slash slash feature. Okay, now let's for example, say that, uh, let's for example, say that I'm reading this point in the text here, that pollutants released from burning plastic uh, can be transported through the air longer short distances. Now, let's say I'm reading that and I wanna write a note to myself and I say, pollution from plastic burning can create particles that travel various distances through the air. Now, I'd like to relate to link this point that I just wrote to the original text that, uh, that it refers to. So of course you saw earlier, I could just draw an ink link to do that, but there's actually uh, an interesting and potentially faster way. I can type slash slash and liquid text will use the AI to try to figure out, it'll read what I just wrote and then look at the text on the screen now and try to figure out what did it, what text on the screen now was I probably referring to? And this is its suggestion. In this case, it's suggesting most of the page, but uh, it depends a little bit on how the page is structured. If its suggestion is correct, then I just press return and look at this. It creates an inline link. It's really effortless, incredibly easy. So that means of course, later on, I can simply tap the inline link and get right back to what it refers to. Now, on the other hand, let's say the AI is wrong in its suggestion. So let's do that again. Let's say slash slash, it's, it selects all that, but let's say that's actually not correct and that I was actually referring to just, you know, this, this sentence right here. Well, you can just select that correct sentence and as soon as I release my finger, it creates a link to what I had just selected. So it's a beautiful way, if you're writing a lot of text, uh, this can actually potentially be an even faster way of creating links to what you're writing, faster even than ink links potentially, because it can use the AI to help automate the process for you. And in many cases, uh, find the text on the screen that's most related to what you're writing. Just like that, okay. So what we just talked about, again, was document replacement, replacing a document with a newer version, adding links to uh, various web pages into your liquid text project, creating links between your different liquid text projects. So you can have a repository of research, for example, and our AI tools, both for answering questions about your documents and for automatically creating links and citations.